Hi there again, I'm Lori Shaw, owner of Professional Pet Sitting and Lead Pets Blogger for Ann Arbor.com. And today I'm going to talk about a topic I know is bugging people all over Southeast Michigan, and that's mosquitoes. You know, we've had abundant rain here in the first couple of weeks of June and very hot temperatures, and that's a recipe for mosquitoes to breed just crazy. So. I get asked a lot by pet owners what's safe to use on their pets with regard to repelling mosquitoes and they want to know if using traditional bug sprays that are made for humans is safe. And the answer to that is no, they are not safe for a couple of reasons. Um, humans and pets metabolize things differently and pets can not only absorb the chemicals through their skin making them sick, pets have a tendency to lick themselves and they can also ingest it orally. So for that reason it's kind of a double whammy and it's just not safe. The good news is, is that there are things that you can buy, things that you can make that are very safe and effective. In fact, you might recall back in March I did a blog for AnnArbor.com on the effectiveness of catnip against bugs. And um, in the findings of some research, there was over a 90% effectiveness rate with catnip, of all things. Catnip can be found in some preparations that you can buy from good pet stores. This one here is made by the Dancing Paws Company and it's based with citronella oil as well as tansy, pennyroyal, eucalyptus, uh, neem oil which is another ingredient I'm going to talk about here in a minute as well as catnip. Um, and this was under ten dollars here at Plum Market. Um, you can also add to that if you like or make your own preparation. Uh, something I'm going to talk about here in just a second neem oil. Neem oil is a very effective um, extract from a seed actually which is from a tree. Uh, it's been used in Ayurvedic medicine for thousands of years. It does have an unpleasant smell so you might want to kind of test it out before you try it out in anything. Um, it is um, found in some pet shampoos and sprays. Um, it is very effective. It's very safe as well but in, bear in mind that it does have a bit of a bad smell so that being said, we're going to move on to homemade preparations. If you recall, a couple of weeks ago, um, Linda Diane Felt actually wrote a blog on making your own mosquito repellent from herbs. Hers is based with either a soybean oil, olive oil, or an alcohol base. And the added component to that that is the active ingredient, actually, is catnip. Um, her recipe for that is on her blog on AnnArbor.com. And you can see I made some here last night. Um, actually straining the oil from the chopped herbs after they have been in the oven overnight. It's very effective. Um, these can be used on pets very safely. Um, some people don't like the smell very much so once again you want to kind of see what you feel when you apply it before losing it widespread. Something else that you might want to consider is the use of an eco-friendly fogger. This is used very much in the same way that you would use a traditional fogger, only this uses botanicals. Um, this is based with geranium oil, rosemary, and peppermint, which is a couple of other ingredients that are also effective against repelling mosquitoes. You would use this just as you would another fogger. I do recommend keeping your pets inside for a short period of time after you spray the perimeter of the area you want to include and um, after that's had a chance to settle down then you can let them back out. Going back to the preparations that you can buy and some of the ingredients that you can put into your own concoctions, I want to make it very clear that just because something is natural does not mean it's 100% safe. You need to understand that different species metabolize things differently, namely cats and dogs. This particular um, preparation called Flea Flea from the Dancing Paws Company is made for dogs. They do have a preparation made for cats and it does contain different levels of the botanical oils that repel mosquitoes. The reason for that is that cats metabolize things differently um, so you want to be very careful when you're choosing your products. A lot of people will recommend the use of tea tree oil. I do not recommend that for cats or dogs. Um, cats are very sensitive to the phenols that are in the tea tree oil. Dogs can actually become very sick and there's a level of paralysis that can occur with direct use of the oil. So just bear in mind that if anything is labeled natural, it doesn't necessarily mean safe. And as always, you should always consult your vet 
before applying anything to your pet. If you have any questions, especially with regarding with older pets or pets that are not so healthy. Um, so if you have any questions with regard to your pets, feel free to get in touch and I can talk about them in a video blog or a written blog on AnnaArbor.com or on my blog, More Than Four Walls or The Way That They See It. Thanks again.